Hello my beautiful Taurus, this is Moon Seeker of Light Guardian. This is your reading for the 1st of April through to the 14th of April. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and of course any cross watchers that are watching. So Taurus, what does your, your soul connection what will you be going through this two first weeks of April? And this could be a soul connection, you know, maybe twin flame, soulmate, karmic. You might not know how to label it. It's a connection that is so deep. So let's get started. We're gonna start with drawing five cards to give us like our subjects that we will be looking at for the collective. And I had four cards fly right out a voyage. We have crumbling. We have yes. And we have fruitful. We need to grab one more card. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've been doing readings all day and my voice is a little bit hoarse. And we have moss. Okay, so let's go through this one by one and see what's in store for Taurus. Okay, so when it comes to being fruitful, um, so with this card, what I get from this is, you know, abundance, being fruitful, being abundant, um, harvesting your, your, what do you want to call it, your seeds, your, you know, the things you've planted. Um, so what is it that's going to be fruitful? What are we working on? What is it that's coming up for the Taurus Collective in Soul Connections. We have the Six of Air. This is, we, <clears throat> excuse me, we are walking away from something that was unfruitful towards something that is fruitful. Something that wasn't growing to something that is growing. We are moving away into the calm, away from the drama. Look at this colors. Look at this image. It's just so like, I just want to bathe in these grapes. They're so abundant and so juicy and so fruitful. In this collective, it could be either you or the person you're watching this for is moving away from this but I'm sensing more that it's perhaps the person watching this video you're wanting that calm this calm lush just untroubled um, environment energy so we're, we're moving away from that. We're moving away from something that was unfruitful. So when it comes to yes, what are we saying yes to? We're saying yes to moving forward. We're saying yes to having direction and control. We're saying yes to willpower. We're saying yes to being focused and knowing what it is we want. I'm sorry about my camera. Just realized it was completely out of focus. So that's what we're saying yes to. We're saying yes to motion, being in motion. <clears throat> we also have the crumbling here. The crumbling is like the tower. This is a breakdown of foundations and beliefs. The divine has intervened, they've come in to help you break down those things that no longer serve you, that you can't get rid of yourself. 
So what else do we have when it comes to voyage? We have the Ten of Fire. This is about burdens and responsibilities and stress. So this is the Ten of Wands. So this is coming, this is crumbling down. It's coming down. We are going to be releasing our burdens and responsibilities. We're gonna take those wands off our back and lay them down. They're no longer gonna be troubling us. The universe is gonna take them and we're gonna release them to the universe because we are wanting to move forward. And we have voyage. Where are we journeying to? What adventure are we off to? We have page of water. This is like a happy surprise. This is a someone who's a dreamer, someone who's sensitive. This is the page of cups. So we're taking this voyage to our emotions, to embracing our emotions, to being in touch with our emotions, allowing us to feel our emotions. We're going to a voyage within. We're gonna try to be more in tune with our emotions. We're gonna be dreamers. We're gonna be fully, you know, releasing our emotions and sensitivity and, and have these small but happy surprises happen to us on our journey. We're going to look at the small things, look at the details and be happy in the details in the small, small things. I want to get a love message with this from your divine counterpart. What about this voyage? What about this being in touch with your emotions and embracing them? I love you always. So divine counterpart is saying, I love you always. This is the trip you're going on. This is the voyage you're going to go on. A voyage of love. You're gonna go on this voyage into yourself, into your emotions, having releasing the emotions. You or the person you're watching this for. But they're telling you they, they love you always. That's never been the problem. They have always loved you. And once we journey through our emotions and are open to expressing our emotions and receiving others' expressions of their emotions, we can express this with words as well. That's beautiful. So then we have Moss here, the last card. So what is it that we're hiding? Who is it that needs to take a mask off? What it is? What is this all about? Is it about finding our authentic truth? Is it, is it about standing in our power? It's about to a fire. It's about planning. It's about making decisions. Someone's hiding behind a mask so that perhaps they don't have to make a decision. So that they don't have to make plans when it comes to this connection. They might be hiding behind something. They're wearing a mask so they don't perhaps reveal their emotions. And this is what I'm feeling is currently a blockage for this connection. I'm gonna get a message with that, um, those cards too. So what do we have when it comes to mask and planning? I fucked up. I own that. So, this person you're watching this video for, or this could be you, knows that they fucked up. That's perhaps why you or them are hiding behind this mask and having a hard time trying to plan. Because they fucked up and they know that, but they've always loved you. And they want to go on this voyage with you, where you can express your emotions. Where you can come you know come forward with a message of love so this is also about pages or messengers and this is about coming forward with a message of love they want to take the journey to you to make 
this declaration of love because they have always loved you but they fucked up and they don't know how to to fix that I'm drawn to take another card but since they left you they have transformed they are perhaps planning on how to take this mask off so that they can take this journey into their emotions they have made this great transformation and they just now want to you know come forward to you with this message of love and tell you I love you and I always have so Taurus that is your horoscope reading for the 1st of April to the 14th of April let me know in the comments below if this resonates if this is your situation or not and don't forget to subscribe and like thank you I'll see you next time bye